The internet world appears to be evolving at an unbelievable rate right now. Websites are being built with some of the most advanced features and technologies to ensure optimal security. Despite these precautions, some hackers manage to infiltrate their security systems. So what precisely does the term hacker mean? And which countries are known to have the finest hackers in the world? Do they have their categories? Let's find out. First and foremost, what do we know about hackers? What exactly does this title mean? A hacker is a person who specializes in information technology and uses unusual methods to complete a task or overcome a barrier within a computerized system. Although the term hacker has come to be associated with a security hacker, a person who utilizes technical knowledge of weaknesses or exploits to break into computer systems and obtain data that would otherwise be inaccessible to them, hacking can also be used by lawful figures in legal situations, although the term hacker has become synonymous with security hacker. For example, police enforcement authorities will occasionally use hacking tactics to gather evidence against criminals and other undesirables. This could include impersonating criminals or using anonymization tools, such as a virtual private network or the dark web to master their identity while undertaking online activities. Similarly, covert global agencies can use hacking tactics while carrying out legally sanctioned operations on the other hand, law enforcement and security organizations use hacking and cyber attacks in ways that are both illegal and outside of the confines of the law, performing warrantless activities. State actors use them as a weapon in both legal and criminal kinds of conflict. Before we get to the top countries where security hackers come from, let's look at their different types. There are many kinds of security hackers for various goals. Black Hat Black Hat hackers are specialists in unlawfully breaking into security systems for strict financial reasons. They pay attention to whoever pays the most or provides the most compensation. They usually operate on the dark web and their activities are considered criminal in most notions. Being a black hat hacker is exceedingly risky, not only because governments might utilize them to carry out specific malicious purposes, but also because they have previously been brutally punished or killed when those governments were overthrown. White Hat This is the polar opposite of black hat hacking. These hackers only act on the legal side of things. They do not cross the boundary into criminal behavior. White hat hacking is advocated for computer enthusiasts. White hat hackers can be found in academic institutions, technology companies, and the computer analytics industry. Gray hat. Gray hat hacking is a compromise between white hat and black hat hacking. Most gray hat hackers do what they do for the sheer joy of obtaining outcomes and striking their targets. They occasionally receive financial compensation and sometimes they do not. They enjoy the rush that comes with hacking. Hacking. Furthermore, they know how to function legally or illegally, so which side they choose to operate on depends on their feelings. Red Hat The crusader of the digital world, they serve as vigilante superheroes, judges, jury, and executioners. Their objective is to eliminate a hacker who wears a hat somewhere in cyberspace. They employ the whole array of cyber weapons available to black hat hackers in their attack against them. However, while they are similar to the famous superheroes from comic books, you are unaware where they exist. They will fight to safeguard your company like ethical hackers, which benefits your company. Green Hat Beginner hackers begin out. They are developing the skills necessary to become professional hackers. They experiment with different codes to learn. In most cases, they will avoid attacking a company in favor of gaining knowledge from more experienced hackers who participate in online groups. For this reason, they are gaining knowledge from more experienced hackers who participate in online groups. For this reason, they are referred to as green because they do not pose a risk to your company. Script Kitty They do not fit any of the previously described categories. It may sound like an innocent hacker, but they intend to wreak as much confusion and disruption as possible. They have no interest in stealing in any way. They put much effort into scripting and coding, but do not produce their software. Their attacks frequently take the form of DOS, denial of service, or DDOS, distributed denial of service. They will employ any method of assault that has the potential to disrupt your company, tarnish your reputation, or cause you to lose consumers as a result. Neophyte A person who is new to hacking or freaking and has little knowledge or expertise of the workings of technology and hacking is referred to as a novice, also known as a newbie or noob. Blue Hat They are hostile and obsessed with getting their own back. 
If you don't make them, they don't exist in the world. Therefore, having sound business ethics and being fair with consumers and other partners is financially rewarding because, who knows, you might not play fair. Make them extremely angry and transform one of them into a hacker with a blue hat. They are thinking, grr, I'm going to make them pay. In most cases, they will utilize pre-existing code to launch attacks and modify it to suit their needs. After that, they take their vengeance out on a company or an individual using this code. Without further ado, let's dive into the top 8 countries with the best hackers in the world. First, ranked number one, China. The Asian Colossus currently holds the number one spot on our ranking. This is because this country is responsible for around 41% of all the hacking traffic in the world. The Chinese government is committed to fostering the development of young Chinese citizen skills in the field of cybersecurity. Any person or company that can demonstrate achievement in their area is eligible to receive grants, awards, and incentives from the government. Unfortunately, it has led to some negative negative consequences, much like a sword with two edges, which is unfortunate. The number of repeated cybercrime cases in China has hit an all-time high. Many criminals have been brought to justice for breaching one or more security systems. The Chinese government faces a significant challenge when it comes to the issue of deploying all of its hacking capabilities as a weapon against its rivals. Moving on to number two, the United States. One may argue that the United States possesses the most advanced cyber weaponry in the world. This results from the high level of competence displayed by the operations they carried out in prior U.S. strikes. This should not come as a surprise considering the economic and military might of the United States government. In the past, this administration employed several Trojan horses to thwart the production of missiles, particularly by the Iranian regime. They seem to have the vast majority of the best hackers in the world as their contribution to the amount of hacking traffic is almost 10%. Following up at number 3, Turkey. Turkey is in third place. We are impressed with Turkey's progress in cybercrime. Although the growth rate of hackers has only accelerated in the previous decade, they already account for 4.5% of worldwide hacking activity. Next up at number four, Russia. Russian hackers are perhaps the most notorious on our list. This is due more than anything to the level of cybercrime in which they have been involved. Consider the DNC affair, which has sparked much debate and dread in the minds of American leaders. They account for 4.1% of all global hacker traffic. Russia will likely be the country that hates using hacking as a weapon after the United States. Moving on to number 5, Brazil. In 2021, Brazil will be known for hosting the World Olympics and its cashless economy throughout the South. The latter has given them many benefits in commerce, but it has also made Brazil a bleeding ground for hackers. A hacker only needs to breach a financial system to access large amounts of money. Following that, at number 6, Romania. Romania is ranked 7th and has been revealed to be engaged in approximately 3.3% of cybercrimes occurring in various parts of the world today. This country has a place called Remniku Valsia. It is a hotspot for hackers. This location is primarily responsible for hacking difficulties traced to Romania. Next up at number 7, India. Given the popularity of cyber attacks in India, it deserves to be included on the list of countries with the finest hackers. Cybercrime in this country is increasing daily. This could be due to the residents' gullibility. This region is responsible for approximately 2.3% of all cybercrime. Finally at number 8, Italy. There are many lovely features and interesting facts about Italy as a country. However, ranking ninth among countries with the most significant number of hackers is not one of them. Cybercrime accounts for around 1.6% of all crimes. Donato, Farente Arima, and Luigi Arima are two well-known hackers who have managed to break the security of government websites. Italian hackers appear to be expanding their businesses by registering on websites all across the internet. Well, that marks the end of our video for today. We hope you enjoyed it. On your way out, please hit that subscribe button for more content like this in the future. Also, let us know in the comments what you think. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video.